I think there's been two places at home that have meant an awful lot to me over these locked in months. One is my study and one is the little garden out in front. And in some way, there's been an umbilical connection almost between the two, where the, the writing has fed into the gardening, the gardening has fed into the writing, and suddenly there doesn't seem to be um, any boundaries between the two. They've expanded into each other, and they've fed each other, and they've nourished each other. and. Um, I don't think I could have um, gotten through these months if it wasn't for either of these two spaces. I think the endless and rather mindless cycle of consumption that was just severely and abruptly broken when lo lockdown began. Um, there was absolutely no need to be purchasing, consuming so much at that rate um, all the time. And I think it was really eye-opening for me to realize that we need very little and we do very well with very little. Um, and that's something that I would really, really like to not go back to. This cycle of, of buying and hoarding and buying some more and not really honoring the things that you do have because you're always looking out for what next. Um, and it makes for a very unfulfilling sort of life, I think. Um, and I'd like to leave that very firmly behind me. Hmm, I would, I would join a protest because I would feel that that's what's most, most required at the moment. Probably join the farmers at the border. Um, I would also love to organize a party, but a party that's a tree planting party. I think we owe the earth an apology, a really very big apology. Um, for messing up so badly and COVID-19, all the viruses that have come before and will come after are just merely a symptom really of something that's far deeper gone wrong and that we have had as a species a huge part to play in. Um, so yeah, I think a tree planting party that's sort of repeated annually if not more um, where we apologize and give back and say we are deeply, deeply sorry for not being better inhabitants of this planet.